Well, hey, subscribers and frequent viewers. This is Captain Dave, just chilling out here. Um, this is going to be a video where I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. So if you're looking for something else about, you know, if you're looking for fishing or whatever, if you're not looking for commentary or editorial, then you need to move on right now. Uh, I'm going to cover a couple things in this video that, I don't know, just things that are on my mind. It seems people like that, even though I don't do it, because I don't share a lot of my personal insights many times, because they're my personal insights, and they probably differ from yours. And when somebody in today's world differs from your opinion, then a lot of really softies seem to really take it to heart. You know, and they want to argue and they want to do things like that about it. So, um, there is maybe a possibility that I won't even return a reply to any comments after this. It depends. But I'm going to cover a couple things and I'm going to ramble on and I'm going to rant about a few just things because not much is going on. And I'm not going to talk about trailers or Suzuki's or anything. It's just I was, I've got some build up here of something I was, some stuff I was just going to talk about. So before we're two minutes into this, which is right now, let me tell you the first topic. It always seems that this is so important. I meet a total stranger. I, you know, I bumped into a guy today. Total stranger. Oh, you're in the charter business? I go, yeah, yeah. This is the thing right here. This statement. How far you go out? What the hell does that got to do with anything? I hear that all the time. How far you go out? Does that actually mean something? I can tell you honestly, I've caught bigger fish in the river or at the inlet than I have. And I've been 56, 7 miles offshore before. All right. And then, let's see, I got an email the other, just what, last night or something about three or four guys it's only, what, April, what's today, April 8th, 9th, uh, I don't even know what today that day is. Let me see, I don't even know, I gotta look. Okay, it's April 9th. I got an email. Not that this bothers me, because people just don't have a clue. Um, got an email, I got three or four guys. Yeah, we're looking to go out and catch those sails. You know, you know, catch them Dorado, those mahi mahi. Well, okay, dude, number one, okay, I, I get it. This is northeast Florida. You're not running out right now and going to go get into those Mahi Mahi and Dorado. We just call them dolphin. And you're not going to be catching sails. You're not going to be. Uh, you better get your timeline. So there's, right there, I mean, you know, you just... I'm not saying that it bothers me, but it's just one of those things that I've heard for years and years and years is somebody shoots you their super bucket list. I'll never forget one time back in my old boat, so that makes over 14 years ago, over 15 years ago, it was February. And I'm at the jetties, Mayport jetties, and I, I even know where I was. I was on the south tip, and it was February, and it was cold, and it was a nice day. And, of course, 
I was out like on a Monday or Tuesday and there was like no one around. And I had a box full of sheep's head. I, I caught reds. I mean, a lot of stuff that, you know, you, it's the fishing just isn't even the same, right, as almost 20 years ago, right? So I'm out there and I'm by myself and I'm having a great day. And the phone rings. And the guy says to me, hey, so you out there catching any, um, any marlin lately? I literally thought this was a crank call because I, got a, I have a friend that, I, I mean, he'll, he'll, he'll give you a crank call. I mean, it's not beyond him to just screw with you, you know what I mean? So uh, I was like, uh, are you serious? Is this is this a, like a crank call? And I goes, no, man, no. I'm just wondering, uh, you doing any marlin fishing? Well, obviously he didn't look at my website. The guy asking for the sailfish and mahi mahi didn't look at my website. They do no research. I'm why do why do I do research? I guess other people don't. Did they, you know, do they go to my website and see pictures of Marlin? What? I said to the guy, you better get on the internet and you, uh, or something, or get with uh, your travel agent and book yourself a trip in South America. And he's like, what? <laughs> you know, like you're going to Jacksonville, Florida. What people think in other places, what Florida is, is, you know, this is a huge, long, long-ass state. Okay. It takes me where I'm at right here. It'll take me eight hours. I think it's eight hours. It'll take all day to get to the Keys, to get to South Miami, to get to Key Largo, which is the first key. So, but getting back to the guy I bumped into today. Oh, you do charters? I said, yeah. How far you go out? I've heard that since the day I started. How far you go out? What the hell, what the hell does that even mean? You know, I don't know. All right, topic number two. You as my subscribers and viewers, let it be really known to me. Back when I was, I did a few kind of knife videos and stuff like that, like what's in your pocket, uh, multi-tools, stuff like that, because that is part of my interest. And... You know, what are you, what are you carrying on you or whatever? I'll give you an example. Okay, right now, I told Bill, Bill knows who he is, when we were, we were talking about having spares. And I said, Bill, I'm so into spares, I got, I got three knives in my pocket right now. Okay, well, you all let it be known to me to never, ever do a knife video because of the fact that it got no views, hardly any comment and that is you your way of telling me hey this sucks okay boom I got or a walk he's the only one and what was it is it shore vapor shore vapor who changed his name it's the only time anybody ever sent me anything I got a uh, and I use it daily an ingle uh, insulated cup I believe it was Shore Vapor that sent that to me. Warwalk sent me this. This is a Spyderco uh, double wing bird. It's not a fancy knife. It's not an expensive knife, but I love it. Serrated on one side, there. And then, then I got my tiger claw in my other pocket. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to rip shit constantly. You name it. I'm ready to rip it asshole to elbow, okay? So, yeah. But you let me know right away. 
And what bothers me, and this is, we're going to call this what bothers Dave, is I watch videos on YouTube. These knife guys have nothing invested in their video. Absolutely nothing. A lot of them even admit, oh, my buddy sent me a knife for me to review. Or some other guy sent me a cha uh, from another channel sent me this knife. I'm going to send it back to him. It's not even mine. And they point a camera down and they talk about a knife like this for 25 goddamn minutes. Or like this for 25 minutes. They have nothing invested. Okay, I've got my camera right now mounted on the back of the Jetty Wolf. And the reason I'm not sitting on my back porch is because I got idiot shithead uh, renters next door that moved in, who's not even an American. Okay, and he's telling me that his dogs are allowed to bark any time they want. And the minute he lets them goddamn mutts out, I could be sitting on my back porch and I'm going to be hearing dogs bark. So I got this crap next door now, renters, that don't give a shit about nobody but themselves. And I've already had it out with him. And he has some kind of accent. And let me tell you, it ain't the accent from the west side of Jacksonville, Florida. So he ain't from around here. It's like that old saying, you ain't from around here, are you, boy? So there's my bone to pick with that. So I can't even sit on my back porch anymore because of some prick next door. So, uh, but these guys got nothing invested. There's my, my camera is now mounted on the back of the Jetty Wolf and I'm sitting in my driveway outside my garage under the carport, boat port. I have in tackle and boat and everything I'd say, I mean, if, really, if you just had to insure it all for complete loss and to go get it again, I'm looking at two hundred thousand dollars, right? And I get it. I do a video, and it gets okay over the course of let's give it ten to twelve to fourteen days. It'll get six hundred and something video views. And here is, and I'm going to use the word idiot, because that's what it is to me. It's idiocy. Guy's going to point a camera down at a table. And i got nothing against this guy, because he's got this, he's licked the system. He's got it. He figured it out. He figured out the system that I haven't figured out yet. And he's going to sit, and he's going to look at a knife. I've tried it with reels. I've tried it with reels. It takes two or three years for my video about just sitting a reel down and telling you my thoughts about that reel to get the same amount of views that this guy will get in six months or less. And he's sitting here talking about some bullshit god dang knife. Okay? What? Are you kidding me? And you guys, let me know, plain and simple, don't ever do a knife video, Dave. Don't ever do a knife video. Because they were, and I could, I could put all the lists in the video description below. I could put an entire list of all the videos that I did about knives and EDC and, and interesting, you know, pocket dump what you carry. I mean, like, look at this. This is just me right now. Okay. And I really am a knife enthusiast. Orowak is a knife enthusiast because he sent me this. He sent me another one too. And I always said, well, he doesn't care about it. He doesn't care. But I always said in multiple videos in the video description and in the comments, you know, you can send me something and it doesn't have to be fishing related. It could be fishing, boating, knives flay knives, weird lures, whatever. I'll give you my address. My dad tells me that there's idiots out there that eat, you know, hot peppers. 
There's people that do shit like kick each other in the goddamn balls. That get, you know, it's those kitty channels. And believe it or not, my dad's 81 years old. He watches these complete morons. They're making $100,000 a year on YouTube. And then they show the stuff that people send them. I don't know. No, I'm not. You know, yes, I got a Facebook, and I try to put, you know, my videos on Facebook. Just get one or two more views. Usually it's thumbs down views, because I know who these, these people are. But I'm not, you know, I'm not in Instagram, I'm not doing Twitter, I'm not doing InstaFace, and I'm not, I don't even know what half that shit is. I don't know. There's services out there that'll do all that for you. And they charge big money. Where I'm not giving money to people to go put my stuff on InstaFace or whatever. Or whatever, whatever, all this stuff. My neighbor sits and tells me how he sits at work at lunchtime while he's eating a sandwich at his desk. And he looks at... What is it called? Red line or something where it's just a bunch of pictures. I've got one of those. It's never done anything for me, I don't know. I don't even know what it is. But I signed up and I put, you know, pictures of products or whatever on there. And it is neat because I've seen it and I've looked at other stuff. Basically, a lot of this stuff is the... It's to satisfy the person. Like, I know one friend in particular. You know, he has to take pictures of every single thing he catches. And he, it's, a, it's a thing. Hey, look at me. Look, look how great I am. You know. Um, over the years, if I wanted to post stuff like that, you know, I put up videos on my community page or a photograph on my community page and immediately people think that it was caught yesterday because they don't even look. They just look at the picture. Hey, cool picture, cool trout, man. I caught this one yesterday. I caught a this or this yesterday. Well, they don't even realize I caught that three years ago. How much, how much shit do you want me to go back on? I've got videos back to 2007. I've got boxes this big if I had a scanner, you know, a photo scanner, which I, I did at one time before I had, before I had, you know, uh, dumbass shit like this that don't want to work half the time and I can't see the screen because they can send man to the moon and man's going to Mars and if I'm in the sun, I can't see this screen. and. Actually, before my GoPros, I had a bunch of cheap cameras. I got boxes this big, box after box after box after box of hard copy photos. You want to have a war? Oh, I could put I could put pictures up. Oh my God! You want to see pictures? I could show you pictures, but I don't need this. Oh, hey, you're so great. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, that was great. Oh. Great. Ooh, ooh, mm, ooh. I don't necessarily have to thrive on that. What I'm wanting to do is always just build up my YouTube channel. I think about ways of doing it all the time. You know, I told Bill, Bill, you know who I'm talking, you know I'm talking to you. Um, you know, my ultimate goal before the apocalypse was to take my 250 that's right here, Suzuki, uh, trade that in and get something for it before it's too old and decrepit. And I wanted to put twin 115s on the boat. How badass would that be? Twin 115s. Yeah, Suzuki twin 115s. And then I would take my kicker off. I would change the thruster prop that's on it now. 
And I'd find it, an absolute, you know, junky old John boat. Put it in my garage here, which I've got, I don't know if you can see behind me, i got tons and tons of room, okay? But I just, I can't get in and out because the Jetty Wolf sits right in front of it. But I could go buy a John boat, work on it, and do a series of videos about working on it. Working on the trailer, getting it really up to snuff. And because my kicker is a super long shaft, putting on a jack plate, a manual jack plate on the back of the John boat, and then putting the kicker on the John boat and starting another YouTube channel where it would be called Low, Low Tech Fishing. Because I'd show you, you can go out, you don't have to have all this bullshit. You don't have to have powder-coated goddamn T-tops and towers and GPS trolling motors. I mean, I'm not a kayaker, but that's basically kayakers are taking it to the absolute. <laughs> they take it to the extreme, them kayakers. They got trailers. They got depth finders, live wells. No, what I would have is a bait bucket or something. No trolling motor. A kicker and a rod and a cooler. And I just go out and fish. And just show you. I mean you don't need you don't need all this fancy bullshit. And I would start that would be my second YouTube channel. That was my long term goal before the apocalypse. Well, that ain't gonna happen anytime soon, let's put it that way. Because you gotta have some money flow to go get twin one fifteens. And the reason I was thinking about twin 115s is because added safety factor. It's really nice to have that added safety factor. I can say with comfort. I mean, I'm, I feel comfortable when out with customers with that kicker on the back. Because I know we're getting home. Hey, the son of a bitch got me home about eight times when I was having my fuel cooler issue when I couldn't figure it out. So... Um, Oh, and by the way, the, the, the 115 uh, Suzuki's don't have a fuel cooler. <laughs> and I could probably run them out at the end of the day on the, on the muffs because they don't have a low water pickup nose cone thing. That's the real reason why I use a tub is because I'm not putting just tape across it and throwing the, the muff thing on there. That's not going to... That's not really right. <laughs> so, um, that's it. How far do you go out? Really? Um, sales? Sailfish and mahi-mahi? In April? Guys that have zero invested in their channel. YouTube channel. They got a camera looking down at two hands talking bullshit about a knife. And you know what? Hey, I watch them. There's a couple I like, and then there's a couple that irritate the living piss out of me. I mean, I look at their hands. I look at this one guy's hands. He has to be a god dang insurance agent or something. Nothing against insurance agents. My whole family's got insurance agents. It has nothing to do with it. But I'm just using it as a job that you're not out busting your knuckles and skinning your fingers and snapping your fingernails off and getting blood blisters under your thumb and all that. And this guy sits there talking about knives like he's some freaking expert. Really? He's an expert, all right. Yeah, he's got a YouTube channel with a camera looking at a knife. I tried it. Why couldn't I do it? That's what bothers me. So, okay, well, that's the end of this. So, uh, I'll let y'all go, and thanks for watching. I went out fishing yesterday, and I'm not even going to talk about it. Some kind of epic, epic full moon. God.
did it suck. And then in the afternoon, it got windy. We didn't see sun until we came back to the boat ramp. This is already 25 minutes, and that's past your bedtime, folks. So thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you really thought this was great. Because this is what a lot of people do on YouTube. And, uh, you know, share your thoughts. Don't really know if I'm going to reply to the comments or not. I'll have to think about it. See you on the next one.